All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again in the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge, but we're gonna do something a little different. So today, uh, no big peaks, but what we are doing is we're gonna explore some family-friendly trails in the Wichita's. So these are trails that are a little bit easier, not quite as long, maybe less uh, rock scrambling, but overall just shows that are good for your kids, your pets, uh, friends, family members who don't like hiking, <laughs> all of the above. So stay tuned and you're gonna see my favorite family-friendly trails in the Wichita's. All right, so first off, we've got the Jed Johnson Tower Trail. So this is a short trail, 1.4 miles. Uh, if you do a little bit, there's a little bit of an extra trail at the end to go up towards Central Peak. You can hike all the way up to the top of Central Peak, but you're gonna have to do a little bit of off trail, uh, bushwhacking slash falling elk trails. So maybe not the, and it's also a lot of elevation, not the best for kids, but uh, if you do some of that optional trail, you get about a mile and a half and about 100 feet of elevation gain. You can see the tower up there. The trail follows this lake, really nice views. The lake was actually partially frozen over today, which was pretty cool. Um, there used to be another section of trail that kind of went further out of the way and came in, and it's no longer open. Um, they've like covered it with brush and stuff, but this section of trail that looks fairly new has these nice steps. Really easy to go up. Nice little trail. And then you're rewarded this great view. Unfortunately, you can't go in the tower. And next up, Little Baldy Trail. This one starts out really cool crossing this uh, dam. Again, yeah, everything was frozen over. It's been super cold here in Oklahoma the last few days. But uh, once you're across the dam, you start heading out towards Little Baldy there, right in front of me. The trail is pretty easy to follow, but there are a lot of branches and uh, splits where people have just kind of made their own way. This whole area, people just kind of wander. You would have to really try hard to get lost, so not a big deal. But uh, if you make the climb up Little Baldy, which is about... 0.8 miles, 160 feet, you're rewarded with some pretty nice views up at the top. Like right there. And there. Next up we've got Osage Lake, Osage Lake. Not sure how to pronounce it, someone please tell me. Uh, this trail starts out pretty easy, it's basically just a dirt road. There you go. Sorry about the glare today. Once you get closer to the dam, it turns into more of a traditional trail, less of a road. There's another little side trail you can take that's more trail-like from the parking lot, but I chose to use the road. You end up at this dam, and if you're feeling brave, you can go down these steps and uh, go across. So, Probably wouldn't want to let the kids do this one, but uh, I did. It was pretty fun. You can also go down to the bottom of the dam and climb back up the other side if you want to see what's over there. And you climb up to the top of this little rise and look at all those mountains. And the lake too, I guess. All right, moving on to Burford Lake. I'm sure I'm gonna pronounce some of these wrong. Again, lake's all frozen over, something I wasn't expecting to see. Cool thing on this trail is you have these nice little educational placards as you go. It's about a 0.8 mile uh, hike. Once you get to the end, there's a little area where there used to be some mining activity and um, there's also supposedly a trail along the creek 
that you can follow for a little ways. I follow part of it, but uh, it kind of just ends. But uh, you can go up to the top of the hill, do a little more exploring. So not necessarily just a point eight mile hike. You could make it, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half or so. Might even get a little bit more out of it. Just depending on how much you want to explore. The creek is pretty cool to explore too. So kids might have fun with that. But nice trail, very shaded. One of the more shaded trails that I've seen in uh, the Wichita's. The very end here, you kind of climb up this one last little hill. This is really the only elevation gain you have for the whole hike. And then you get to the top. Views aren't as great up here, but uh, you do get a little bit of a view over the lake there. Not too bad. And now it's the famous 40 foot hole. Lots of no swimming signs. Uh, definitely probably should stay out of the water. There's probably a reason there are no swimming signs everywhere. I know I've heard stories of people who used to swim here, but uh, it looks like it's pretty frowned upon these days. So really easy to follow trail. It's pretty well marked. You have some areas like this where you've got some ankle twisters. Uh, some definite ankle twisters. So, got to be careful. Uh, if you're looking at an area and you don't like the way it looks, there's usually more than one way up or down. So, there's, again, lots of little branches and splits in the trail where it'll rejoin itself, but you might be on a different route for, for just a little bit. Once you get up that little section, it's pretty flat. You're just kind of following the rim of this canyon. So if you're into canyons, this is a nice one. Some cool views. Of course, right now everything's pretty dry. All right, Bat Cave Trail. I was a little disappointed the first time I hiked Bat Cave Trail. The cave is not that impressive. I'll be honest with you. I also didn't see any bats. Um, it's a bit of a tough climb, so it's only a half mile round trip, so it's a quarter of a mile to the cave and back, but it's got 200 feet of elevation gain, so it actually is the most elevation gain of any of the hikes on this list. But if you go off to the left here also, you can actually hike to the top of that mountain. Um, really great views up at the top there but uh, for today I just went to the cave and that's what the view is from the mouth of the cave some logs there that kind of help you climb up all right and last but not least post oak falls I think I saved the best one for last so these are in no particular order by the way they're not this isn't a ranking video these are just a few trails that I thought you guys would enjoy so as the name suggests, we are hiking to a waterfall. You might be surprised when you get there and see what it looks like right now. But uh, if you come in this early spring, that's going to be your best time to see the falls. This time of year, uh, especially where we haven't gotten a lot of rain the last few months, they're pretty dry. But uh, early springtime is supposed to be when they flow the most. Pretty easy to follow trail again. All of these trails are on all trails. I'm not going to link them all in the description because it would just get too long with how many trails are on here. But you can find them all on all trails if you just search them by the names that I put in the subtitles. There's an intersection here. Just make sure you go towards the falls and not the wilderness trail. So here you go. So you can see where that high water line is. Obviously, the water is just super, super low right now. But the falls are frozen over, which I thought was actually really cool. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, so that does it for my favorite family-friendly hiking trails in the Wichita's. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, there are a couple of honorable mentions, so Elk Mountain as well as the Crab Eyes Trail. Both are really good trails, also good for families. The parking lot though does get full very fast. It's, it's, it's very popular for a reason. 
So you can check those out as well. I have videos for both of those trails on my channel. So if you're interested in those, go ahead and check them out. But I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys get out here and enjoy the outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bonus peak. This is uh, Central Peak, right near Jed Johnson Tower. Great views up here.